Hello viewers, Hook Crunch here from Noni Racing. Today we will bring you a quick heavyweight beginner's guide for Team Sport Stoke. This is a half a kilometer multi-level track composed out of very little straight line and 11 corners of which 7 are different with hairpins. The surface on the upper level feels grippy compared to the bottom floor but in reality certain corners even on this level will respond better to drift style driving than trying to navigate them with full grip. The bottom floor is comparable to an ice skating track and you will find yourself naturally four wheel drifting through some of them. The surface and the instant accelerator response of the electric guards make this track a ton of fun to drive but hard to master. Unfortunately, due to the lack of straights and the slippery drifty nature of the track, it is very difficult to perform clean overtakes, but on the upside, these features make the track quite easy physically. One surprising thing was the relatively small space these electric carts offer for the driver compared to their Petro siblings. It felt like we have less space between our legs and hands, even with the furthest seating position. Not uncomfortable, but noticeable. Drivers above 6'4 or 195 cm might find it difficult to have sufficient clearance. Ok, so let's dive into the lap guide. Keep in mind that in many situations the focus of a heavyweight driver has to be on carrying speed and often this forces us to abandon ideal lines that lightweight drivers can take. This is especially true if a corner is followed by a long straight or other full throttle section. You will arrive at the end of the finish line carrying a lot of speed, but turn 1 is a narrow hairpin and the surface is too slippery to just hard slam the brakes as you will lose too much control of the cart to be precise. This is an essential corner on the track as it will be followed by a long full throttle section. Stay as close to the left hand side wall as possible and try to find the sweet spot of braking close to the grip threshold and only use some extra brake power to help swing the cart into the corner. Don't be too gentle on the steering, we want to swing the cart, so be ready to counter steer to get the optimal result. Once the cart hits the 90 degree angle, you can go full throttle, hit the apex a bit over 90 degrees and let the cart out to the wall as much as possible to maximize the momentum you carry. Preparing to turn 2, move towards the middle of the track, then swing the cart into the turn. We are aiming for a full throttle, 4 wheel drift, trying to hit both apexes as close as possible and setting up the cart for turn 3. Coming out of turn 2, try to aim the cart towards the right side of turn 3. We want to turn the cart slightly to the right to stay close to the wall and just after the turn 3 apex we want to perform a heavy sling into turn 4 which is a wide hairpin, again aiming for the 4 wheel drift through the corner hitting both apexes. It is important to hit the second apex a bit more narrow as we do not want to let the cart to the opposite wall as on the downwards ramp we will not have enough space to set up for the next hairpin. The best way to achieve this is by playing with the accelerator mid corner. If you get the swing perfect you should be able to do this with full throttle, if not with slight lifting in the middle of the corner and then back on full acceleration towards the end, you should be able to navigate the cart the line you want to take. As I mentioned in the track description, the bottom part is very slippery and there is a tricky transition in turn 5, which is a narrow hairpin. Only the downward straight leading up to the hairpin has decent grip, the turn itself is already on the slippery surface. Before turn 5, we want to be close to the wall, brake relatively early and hard and swing the cart into a 90 degree angle. Once we pass the apex, we will use the instant accelerator response of this cart to steer the cart into position, so try to hit the accelerator somewhat above the grip level to help to move the back of the cart. The bottom part of the track is very tricky on the accelerator as there is just not enough grip to push full throttle. We constantly need to try to find the sweet spot to only spin the wheels to assist turning the cart into corners but utilize full grip where possible to gain speed. Yes, as I said, this track is hard to master, but with a bit of practice we can get decent lap times. Turn 6 is another narrow hairpin, which we want to attack from the far side. On this turn you can either swing the cart or try to go around using throttle steering. For us the latter seems to work better. 
going into the turn, lift completely, start turning in, and then use the accelerator to help turn in the rear of the car. Aim to use all available space. Turn 7 at the pit lane is a very wide and slippery hairpin. We use all the available space on entry and try to hit the apex and use about two thirds of the space mid corner as we are trying to hit the second apex a bit narrow as we need to prepare for turn 8 which is the upper ramp hairpin. If you go too wide you will not have enough space to come back. And turn 8 is another crucial point on the track as the rest is full throttle so the speed you carry to the upward ramp will make or break your lap. Lift from the pedal slightly, swing the cart from the far corner and use power steering to steer yourself towards the far wall. Once the first tires hit the grippy surface you will be tempted to hit full throttle but wait for a split second as the rear tires will still be on the slippery floor. Once the rear has grip, full throttle for the rest of the lap. In turn 9, miss the apex by a margin, reduce the distance from the apex in turn 10, still miss it, and hit it in turn 11. We want to perform these turns with full grip. If at any point you feel you don't get full grip, then you need to increase the miss distance in turn 9 and 10 to achieve it. That's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button or consider subscribing to our channel. If you have something to say, please do so in the comment section below or join us on Discord, you can find the invite in the video description. And as always, thanks for watching, see you in the next one, happy racing!